Have you ever watched a movie or a TV show where the protagonist ended up in a place they just couldn't explain? Whether it was so mysterious, so atypical, or something in between that they couldn't believe their eyes. You might think this would only happen in a fantasy world, but that's actually not true. Many places on Earth mystify scientists all the time, and there are some that seem scientifically impossible when you look at them. In fact, we keep discovering places like this in our world every day, and they just can't be explained at times. Join us as we have a look at 20 most mysterious places scientists still can't explain. Number 20. Krishna's Butterball Somewhere in the world, there is a rock that literally defies the laws of physics, gravity, and common sense. Why? Well, because it's a boulder that weighs hundreds of tons, it's perched upon a slope, and yet it doesn't move from that spot. The position of the rock is so surprising that it looks like it might roll down the slope at any moment. However, it stands firm, and tourists can even take shade under it when they go and visit. It's been unmoved by tsunamis, earthquakes, or even cyclones for over 1,200 years. Which doesn't make any sense, because just look at how it's positioned on the side of that hill. It seems as though it should be tumbling over at the slightest breeze, and yet you can sit under it and have no fear of it falling on you. If you look at the top side of the rock, you'll see something just as unexplainable. Specifically, you're going to find a sheared section of the rock, but how the rock got that sheared is unclear. The easy answer is erosion, but some feel that erosion would never have caused such a shape in the rock. Others counter by saying that it's a natural formation, but I have a hard time believing that a rock like this is anything but natural. Again, it won't fall down the slope that it's perched on. Some say gravity is to blame, while others say that it's friction, but if we're being honest, it might just be super glue. I mean, you can't disprove that after all. The boulder itself stands around 20 feet high and about 16 feet wide, and it's said to weigh about 280 80 tons. It seems to just be simply floating there, barely keeping its place on that slope. And for equally good measure, it's also been labeled a UNESCO World Heritage Site, said to have been built between the 7th and 8th century CE. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. The mysterious location that should have never existed sounds like a perfect way to introduce something on this video, wouldn't you say? And in this case, it's somewhat accurate based on the image you're seeing right now. What you're seeing is a recreation of something that allegedly took place way back in the 1960s. According to the story, there was a forest where two sequoia trees were found connected by a weird resin. And when they were discovered, it was then reported to scientists and they didn't know what the heck was happening, and so they donned some hazmat suits to investigate. And nobody returned alive. I'm kidding on that part, but it did sound dramatic, didn't it? Seriously, is this something that could have actually happened? Well, yes, it could. We do know that trees make resin and other kind of products from their bark, and there are some trees that even have the ingredients inside of them to make things like bubble gum. But you may be asking, how would the resin get from one tree to another? Well, the answer is that they may have had help. Animals are not above using their surroundings to set traps, so what if one such creature, like a bird perhaps, would find out about this sticky stuff and somehow stretched it from tree to tree so that it could catch unsuspecting prey? That would potentially recreate the image you're seeing now. It's not really probable, but it's also not impossible, and that's what makes it so much fun to talk about. But what do you think about the nature of all this gooey resin and these two big trees? As always, you can let me know what you think down below by using the hashtag FancyTopic. Number 19. Nanagat Reverse Waterfall now, let's get back to talking about gravity for a bit, because it's always bringing us down. <laughs> But what's not a joke or a hoax is the Nanagat Reverse Waterfall. You're going to find this one in India, and it's a sight that many have been baffled by for the most basic of reasons. As you watch the clip of this reverse waterfall, you're going to notice that things are 
well, going in the wrong direction. Specifically, this waterfall is flowing upwards. Due to the laws of gravity, that should be impossible, as gravity only has one direction on Earth, that being down. But here you can clearly see that the water is going up and that the water going down isn't even perceived. So, I mean, it's a clear case of anti-gravity, right? Well, there is a scientific explanation for this particular one, believe it or not, and it has to do with wind. The location of this water is perfectly situated so that it deals with incredibly high wind gusts. Those gusts hit the waterfall right when it's starting to fall downward, and as a result, that water is sent flying upwards over 100 feet. That's why it looks like a reverse waterfall, because it's being sent so high that it looks like it's flowing upwards. Now, I'll admit it is quite the visual, but it can also be explained with science. And for further proof of this, if you do look at the base of the waterfall before things start flowing upward, you can very clearly see the water going down. It's out of the wind zone there, but once it gets deeper, that's when the wind picks it up and things go quite crazy. Still quite the visual, though. Number 18. Moraki Boulders Now, here's another rock story. In fact, there are going to be quite a few in this video, so just prepare yourself for that, geology enthusiast. What are the special things about these rocks? Well, they're incredibly spherical boulders that you're going to find around a certain beach in New Zealand. They're buried in the sand, and they've made people say all kinds of things about them as a result, which includes how they make the beach look like it's full of planets. Some of them are even cracked and have made people call them eggs as a result. So, if it's not obvious, the mystery is over how they've been formed, which has been in debate for quite some time. Scientifically, it's said that they were built over the course of many years, and they began as an organic entity before slowly being warped into the rocks that you see before you. Their perfectly smooth shape is likely due to the effects of water and erosion over time. Number 17. Cenote Angelita have you ever heard of an underwater river? It's not a trick question. You may be thinking that the idea of a river inside of a river is impossible, but it's actually not. There are several cases of these rivers being found all over the world, including with Cenote Angelita in Mexico. In this one's case, a thin layer of hydrogen sulfate separates the salt water from the fresh water above it, and that creates a river within a river and makes for a very mysterious place for divers to go down into. The real mystery here here is how many of these underwater creations exist in the world. Now, I personally know of another one over in Asia that was created much differently and even has its own current, but how many more of them are out there? And have you ever swam in one? Let me know your experiences in the comments down below. And if you love swimming, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get more great videos like this one in the future. Number 16. Fly Geyser when humans and nature collide, it typically does not end well, but the fly geyser is the exception to that rule. This geyser can be found in Nevada on Fly Ranch. While drilling a well, workers hit geothermal water that was about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Because that water was not suitable for any kind of agricultural use, the geyser was then left alone. Fast forward to 1964, and another geyser was made by another company and then sealed. But that seal didn't hold, and do you want to guess what happened next? Well, it created another geyser that was so filled with organic material that it doesn't even look like it should when it shoots out of the ground. In other words, people accidentally created something kind of cool when they began drilling around this place. But let's not test our luck and think that we can keep doing things like this. Number 15. Well of Hell when it comes to superstition and what certain people believe, if you give them a mysterious place that's unknown in various ways, they're going to make some stories about what really may be happening there. In Yemen, there's an infamous hole known as the Well of Hell. 
And depending on the story that you might hear, it's either a place where genies reside, the bad kind, or it's a gateway to the underworld. Despite what you may be thinking, it is not actually a well, but a sinkhole, one that's nearly perfectly round that boggles the minds and freaks people out. People were so afraid of this hole that no one dared descend into it until 2021. And it turned out to be something rather incredible. The hole itself is believed to be millions of years old, so one could only speculate and imagine what the first people may have thought when they stumbled upon it. Number 14. Watomo Glowworm Caves this one does kind of speak for itself, but I have to talk about it anyways. It's what I get paid to do. In New Zealand, a major tourist attraction you can go to is the Watomo Glowworm Caves on the North Island. Within those caves are, a surprise, glowworms. Specifically, they're a species of glowworms that can only be found in New Zealand. When you enter into the caves, you're not going to see anything at first, but then you're going to hit areas where there are literally thousands of these glowworms. They make their homes on the walls of these caves, and they can give you quite the light show without any need for provocation. This is absolutely an example of nature working wonders on its own, and it's even said that the ancient Maori discovered these caves and felt that it was a sign from the gods that it was a sacred place. But if nothing else, it's a money maker. Number 13. The Mystery Spots this next one, I'm going to play the role of spoiler, because these mystery spots aren't exactly mysterious or unexplainable. They're actually very scientific, if you know where to look. Now, if you were to go to one of these places, you would inevitably see houses or certain spheres and more that appear to defy gravity before your very own eyes. The houses are going to be tilted, and yet they're not falling down, or the spheres will be seen as breaking the laws of physics via their positions. It is a cool thing to see, and it would appear to be magic to those who are not in the know, but as it turns out, these are simply illusions that are caused by certain kinds of steep terrain. That illusion is added by what you're experiencing within the houses and what you see around you. So, in other words, you're simply being tricked. Number 12. The Chocolate Hills Now I'm going to make an obvious chocolate joke, because I'm very hungry as I make this video, and massive hills that are made out of chocolate, well that simply seems like a dream come true. However, if you head to the Bahol Islands in the Philippines, you're going to see a series of very odd mounds that many people say look like chocolate truffles. Disappointingly though, they are not. And so that leaves a whole lot of questions, like were these a relic of some forgotten project in the country? Well, no, they're a natural part of the land, and there are actually over 1,200 of them, further adding to the wonder and the mystery. And what's more, they range in size from relatively small to 120 meters tall. Now, if you're wondering more about the name, when it's really dry out, the hills adorn a brown color that makes them look even more like chocolate. And now I'm really hungry. Number 11. The Boiling River Here is a true mystery that no one has ever been able to solve. In the Amazon rainforest, there's a stretch of water within its legendary river that is quite literally boiling all of the time. So long has this river been boiling that it's been used by the locals for many years to even cook their food, wash their clothing, and do a whole lot of other things. The locals have decided to affectionately call it La Bamba, and that's because it's really super hot. The waters in that tributary can reach 100 degrees Celsius. But the question now becomes, why is the river boiling? Well, that is the mystery here. Nobody really knows for sure, but there are many theories, which includes geothermal vents and other natural causes. But for now, no one seems to know why the water boils like it does, and only within a certain range. Number 10. Palau's Jellyfish Lake 
Palau's Jellyfish Lake is a case of nature growing and receding over time. When the lake was originally filled, many jellyfish came to live in its waters, but then the surrounding waters receded and that left the jellyfish trapped within the lake. While they're pretty much alone in that lake, they have adapted to survive and it is very impressive. If you go there, you'll see golden and moon jellyfish and you'll notice up close how differently they are from the others. That includes how golden jellyfish don't have much of a sting due to there not being any predators around. But why need to sting something when you only have your jellyfish brethren around anyways? Number 9. Turkey's Konya Plain we already mentioned sinkholes on the list, but I'm going to show you how extreme they can be as we go to Turkey's Konya Plain. In this plain, you'll find literally hundreds of sinkholes, these gulfs in the ground often measuring between 10 and 30 meters across and 30 to 40 meters deep. What's more, the plain that they're on is known for being farmland, and while no one has died because of these sinkholes, there have been some very close calls. They rope off those sinkholes so that no one falls into them, but given that the area could create more, it's not exactly something that can be stopped with technology. However, certain practices were believed to have triggered the sinkholes, and if those are stopped, well, then eventually, perhaps the land will be okay. Number 8 methane. All right, now we're going to head deep down to the ocean floor. Scientists have always been fascinated by the floor of the ocean. Sometimes it's about what lives down there, and sometimes it's about surprising finds that they can make there. For example, in 2016, scientists found that there were massive spots in the ocean floor that were seeping methane. And by seeping, I mean releasing bubbles of it in large streams, as you can see. Scientists knew that this could happen in the ocean, a lot of terminology here. We're looking at methane seeps, which but they weren't expecting it in this much supply. Why is that so important? Well, that's because methane is a type of greenhouse gas, which means that it can go into the atmosphere and cause some problems. Scientists want to learn more about these seeps so that they can then monitor them, control them, and even stop the flow of methane if possible. After all, the less methane on the surface, the better. And to be clear, it's not proven that these seeps are affecting the atmosphere, but if those methane bubbles reach the surface, it it's a possibility that we can't ignore. Plus, it may well tell us more about the core of the planet and what lies between it and the ocean's floor. Number 7. Snake Island In Brazil, there exists an island that is absolutely full of snakes. It's located 20 miles offshore, but once upon a time, there was actually a land bridge that connected the two, and when that occurred, the snakes made the trek and then went onto the island and made it their home. But then, rising water levels would close off that land bridge, and thus the snakes were simply stranded. The good news is that you won't have to fear the snakes going from the island to the shore, as they're fine where they are and they can't swim. The bad news is that if you were to try and attempt to go to that island, you would not only be breaking the law, but you would be signing your own death sentence. Not only are there numerous snakes, but many of them are quite venomous. Some of them are even near the top of the most venomous snakes list, so don't push your luck. Ironically, the only people who are allowed to go on to Snake Island are scientists and the military. There's even a lighthouse on the island, but it was modified so that it could run automatically. That way, people would not have to risk being bitten by the snakes. And if you want to know something else, its name doesn't actually translate to Snake Island, but the people tried to burn the island once, and they stopped because they realized the snakes were far more numerous than they thought. No matter what, we can safely say that Indiana Jones will never be going to that island, no matter what treasures may or may not be lurking there. Number 6. Mud Volcanoes you might not be able to find Azerbaijan on a map, but if you went to that country, you'd eventually find yourself looking at a mud volcano. There are about 700 volcanoes in the world today, and this nation has 350 of them. So yes, the odds are quite good that you're going to see one there. A mud volcano, or mud dome, is a landform that's created by the eruption of mud or slurries, water, and gases. They don't produce lava or magma of any kind, but they can still cause a whole lot of problems. 
Mud volcanoes may range in size from merely 1 or 2 meters high and 1 or 2 meters wide to 700 meters high and 10 kilometers wide. So yes, they can definitely cause a problem. Why are there so many of them in this region? Well, you can blame that on geology and bad luck, but it also means that you'll need to be careful because the hot mud and gases that can be produced by these volcanoes might not be something that you want to witness up close. Number 5. Kawa Asian Lake how about we take a dip in a lake to cool off for a bit? Actually, that may not be such a good idea, since I'm talking about Kawaiijian Lake. Why is that? Well, this body of water is located in Indonesia, right next to a volcano. In fact, it's a crater lake that was born because of the volcano itself, and due to that, it has some problematic qualities. You know, all of the things that can make you absolutely dead in no time. For example, there's an active solfatara that emits hot, flammable, sulfurous gases. So if you do go to this volcano at night, you'll likely see these gases ignite, and when they do, they glow blue. It is pretty, but it's also deadly. Then there's the lake itself. Despite it looking like a beautiful shade of turquoise, that's because of how the water is incredibly acidic. It is the world's largest highly acidic lake, with a measured pH level as low as 0.5, so that means that if you were to go to this lake and take a dip, you would actually be losing whatever you would dip in there. That doesn't sound like so much fun, now does it? So yes, perhaps it's uh, time for you to decide to dip somewhere else. Number 4. The Nazca Lines Easily one of the biggest mysteries of our world can be found in Peru. Yes, I'm talking about the legendary and infamous Nazca Lines. These lines are so well ingrained in our world's lore that they're seen everywhere, they were part of an Indiana Jones movie, and they were even used as a plot point for an anime. But regardless of those references, the actual Nazca Lines are a mystery that still hasn't been solved to this day. For example, no one knows why the ancient Nazca people were so adamant about putting these lines everywhere. In total, they cover an area of around 450 square kilometers, which is pretty huge, and there are also numerous glyphs of various sizes that fill the area up, and some are even still being discovered today. But now we'll get to the big question, how in the world did they actually make them? Well, that's something that nobody can answer, because nobody really knows. When you look at these glyphs from above, they are incredibly detailed, and oftentimes perfectly shaped. Yet, the Nazca were a prehistoric culture that didn't have any of those modern advancements that we have these days. So how is it possible that they could actually make such things with pinpoint precision? Nobody really knows. The other big mystery is why the Nazca wanted to make the glyphs at all. One of the biggest beliefs is that these references are to their gods. Yet, there are glyphs that don't seem to depict any kind of godly beings. Another issue here is that some of the glyphs are quite smaller than the others. So why did some get such a giant size and others did not? As you can see, there's plenty of uncertainty here, and without some Something from the Nazca to explain things, all we can do for now is guess. Number 3. Ball's Pyramid if you were to guess what I were to talk about based on the title, you'd likely surmise that I'd be discussing one of the many different kinds of pyramids that man has made over its time on the Earth. However, you would be wrong. That's because Ball's Pyramid is a sea stack within the ocean that reaches nearly 550 meters into the air. They say it's the remains of a sunken continent, and it holds many secrets within. Geologists discovered this mostly sunken land mass called Zealandia in 2017 after after decades of rock sampling and geologic research. Naturally, people wanted to see what was on the island itself, but that was incredibly hard given its jagged shoreline, and thus it was not breached by man until the late 1800s. And when they did, they found life on that island, and they found what many claim is the most rare bug in the world, the Lord Howe Island stick insect. It's rare because rats almost wiped out the population, and it was thought lost for many decades until being found again in the 2000s. And to ensure that these bugs survive, no one allowed to go to the island without permission from the New Zealand government. Number 2. Sea of Stars 
Have you ever been to the Maldives? If you have, you have some serious coin to spend. Not that I'm judging or anything. I'll get there one day. But if you were able to go to that exotic location, you no doubt heard or saw the legendary Sea of Stars event. However, it's not something that man does to entertain anyone. Oh no, it's all about nature. In this case, it has to do with microorganisms, known as dinoflagellates. What makes them so special? Well, they have the ability to use bioluminescence or in other words, they glow. Specifically, they can glow when they undergo a certain kind of stress. Stress caused by the movement of the sea and the waves leads the plankton to emit light as a defense mechanism in a similar way to some fireflies. The bioluminescent light has an electric blue neon color radiating further as each wave breaks. And so, when you see these literal waves of blue color, what you're seeing is legions of these microorganisms congregating in a single place so that this can happen. It's one of those events where you have to be in the right place at the right time, but once you do see them, it's something that you'll never forget. And to be clear, this kind of thing does happen in other locations. It just simply depends on whether the right organisms are there. While it is a mystery why these creatures need such an ability, no one's going to say no to a beautiful light show while they're on vacation, so if you do get to see it, be sure to enjoy it. Number 1. The Ringing Rocks How many of you have broken rocks in your life? For some of you, it might be part of your job if you, say, work in a quarry or are a miner or are in construction. But either way, it's highly doubtful that you hear anything meaningful when you break those rocks apart, aside from the thunderous crack that occurs when you smash them with a hammer or break them apart with a jackhammer. However, as in all things, there are exceptions, and the ringing rocks in Upper Black Eddy, Pennsylvania are one such example of that. In a certain area within the park, if you were to hit the rocks with a hammer, they would ring as though they are a bell and not made out of stone. That's not what you may expect from a rock, and there are still some mysteries as to why it happens in the first place. It's also a mystery as to why only some of the rocks are able to sound like bells, or why they lose the ability to ring if they're taken away from their rock brethren. But no matter matter the reason, the rocks really do ring when they're hit, and it's a tune that many people like to try out for themselves. That's all from the realm of places in our world that are both wondrous and oftentimes unexplainable. Which of these places did you find the most mysterious or unique? And which ones do you think there's a good explanation behind? Perhaps there are others that could fit on this list. Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.